What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about creating a custom LangChain tool. Uh, the tool I'm going to be focusing on is Slack. So I want to be able to have an agent read my Slack channels, determine which channel is best for this message, and then have that agent write a message to the channel. So the two things that are uh, important in this scenario are going to be the prompts. So we want a Slack read channel prompt saying, hey, this tool is going to be able to uh, read channels from the Slack's API, and it's going to call into the channels read function. And then we're going to want to be able to tell the agent, hey, uh, this is a tool that's able to call the Slack chat write API, and it's going to pass into the Slack's chat write function. Uh, and because this one's going to take input, we're going to say, hey, if you want to create a Slack message of hello world, the format should look like this, a channel with a message. Uh, and it should look like a JSON object. So now that we got our prompts, the next thing we're going to want to do is create a class called Slack API Wrapper. And this is going to wrap all the API calls out to Slack. And again, just because I'm focusing on Slack here doesn't mean it has to be Slack APIs. It could be sending emails, reading emails, all of those types of cool things. So the operations that this API allows are reading channels and writing to those channels. And again, this is where that channels read mode is and chat write mode. So our agent is going to have our agent's going to have knowledge of two operations that this tool has or that these tools will be able to do. It'll be able to read a channel and it'll be able to write a channel or write to a channel. And the description here is what the agent uses to determine if that tool is the right tool for the job. So being descriptive in those prompts is very important for our agents to determine if it's the right tool for the job. And then here we just have a basic validator of our environment variables. This one only needs a Slack bot token. And then we're also going to make sure that we can connect to the Slack API or the Slack SDK. And it just has something called a web client, and we're going to initialize it with the bot token. So as the agent goes through its thought process, it's going to want to call run functions. And uh, once it goes to the Slack API tool, it's going to want to call the run function here. And here's where those channel or those modes come into play again, saying, hey, uh, if you're going to want to read channels from Slack, you're going to want to use the channels read mode. If you're going to want to write channel or write messages to channels, you would use the chat write. And then this is these are the two functions that just kind of wrap the API. So here we're just going to say, hey, uh, they want to read the channel. So go give me all the channels for Slack and return them back in a object with a name and an ID. And then, hey, we want to be able to write messages to a channel. Well, we're going to take in an object of a channel and a message, and then we're going to send that off to Slack, giving it a channel and a text. Next thing we're going to want to look at is the tool itself. So here, this is just a very basic uh, custom tool that LangChain allows us to inherit from. So we inherit from base tool. And each tool is going to have access to the API wrapper. It's going to have a mode. And then this is where the when the agent goes through those tools, it'll call this run function. We then call into the wrapper, wrapper run function passing in the mode. The toolkit is kind of what um, builds up everything that we need for the agent. So here we're going to have a toolkit that, uh, given a Slack API wrapper, it's going to build out the tools that are available from that API wrapper. So what I'm saying here is we have that Slack API wrapper. We say, hey, what operations does this API wrapper have available? It has the channel read operation and the chat write. So we're actually going to create two different tools, one tool that knows how to read from Slack and one tool that knows how to write chat messages to Slack. And then just to bring it all together, uh, I just have a little notebook here. So we're going to pull in that toolkit that we were just looking at. We're going to pull in the wrapper API. We're going to go get our environment variables. So we're going to go get the API key and the bot token. We're going to be using OpenAI for our uh, large language model. Uh, here we're just instantiating the API. 
We're then going to go and create a toolkit from that API and go get all the tools available. And again, I just want to iterate. So there's going to be two different tools available to us. There's going to be a tool to read channels and a tool to write messages to channels. We're then going to initialize that agent. And then we'll be able to ask it questions or have it do things for us. So uh, I'll run the notebook here. And then just a simple one I thought would be fun was determine the best channel to post this message to and then post it. I am a bot from Langchain. So I'm going to click the run here. It's going to go out there. First thing it knows is it needs to read the channels. There's no input needed. So it went out and read my channels. And here are a couple of the channels I have. Notifications, random, name, bots. I have a bots channel. Cool. Uh, and now I need to post. Uh, so it actually had a thought. Post that message to the bots channel. All right. And now we're going to take the action to write a message to the channel. Cool. We're writing that message to the channel. It successfully wrote the message. And it wrapped up. So the best channel to post that message to was the bots channel. And if we go take a look out at Slack, hey, here it is. I'm a bot from Langchain and my bot's channel. So that's a, that's a simple API that we were able to use to integrate uh, Langchain with Slack. I uh, hope you found this helpful and feel free to hit me up if you have any questions. Have a good one.